Welcome to tutorial 3, Working with Hierarchy. In this presentation, we're going to learn how to work with hierarchical folders like those found on servers and FTP sites. The concept is to allow Switch to manage your incoming job so that it always remembers where a job came from so it can easily return jobs after their process back to the proper folders or to recreate a file structure downstream. We'll start off by creating a new flow and switch and naming it Tutorial 3A. To start off our new flow, we're going to select the Submit Hierarchy tool and place it onto our canvas. To start, we'll rename our Submit Hierarchy flow element to From Server. Now we need to connect our flow element to the right directory in which our hierarchy resides. Next, we want to tell our flow element exactly how far down within the hierarchy we want to look for new jobs. We're going to enter 2 because first we selected our server directory as our base directory, so this is always 0. At the second level, or level 2, is the incoming folders, and that's where we want to pull our files from. Next, we want to tell our flow element to process all folders at that level. But now we're going to add a rule to exclude all folders except what's named below. And we're going to name that folder to incoming as shown here. Again, we're going to put in level 2. This way, Switch knows that we're only going to be excluding folders that are not named incoming on level 2. Now we're going to tell Switch not to exclude nested folders so that either a complete job folder or even single job files can be seen within the hierarchy and remembered. Next, we'll have it attach the hierarchy information so that that always stays with the files being processed. And again, we'll make sure that that happens down to level 2. At this point, our flow element has been defined in such a way that it's ready to receive files from the hierarchy and remember where they came from. This flow element with this type of definition could be put at the beginning of just about any flow in order to accept files from within the hierarchy. For our demonstration, though, we're now going to modify the hierarchical path. Now we're going to set a set hierarchical path flow element so that we can start modifying the directory path. In this case, we're going to remove the last part of the hierarchical path so that we can replace it later in our workflow. By removing index 2, what we're removing is the reference to the incoming folder that's embedded within the hierarchical path. With our next set hierarchy flow element, we're now going to modify that path. The goal of this tutorial is to be able to return any file submitted into the incoming folder back to the same client folder, but in a new to client directory. So now we're modifying it to add the new to client directory to the end of the hierarchical path. Now we'll connect our flow elements and then place our last flow element onto the workflow. Now we'll place an archive hierarchy flow element so we can send our files back to the directory we want to. Once placed, we have to select the root directory in which we want to send our files back to. In this case, it's the same server directory that we selected earlier in our tutorial. And lastly, set our subfolder levels to 2. 
Now we'll do a little cleanup of our flow by using the Align Horizontal command found underneath the Edit menu. Now we're ready to activate our flow. With our flow activated, all we need to do now is drop our job folder into an incoming folder and it will automatically be detected by switch, process, modified, and then return to the same client folder in the to client folder. And you'll see that happen here. And now you can see our original job folder return to the same client folder in its original structure. And this concludes our tutorial on working with hierarchy.